Headington. Headington School against the Tideway Scullers School. This is the Bucks Station and the Bark Station you can see in the picture for the third of our Jubilee Heats this morning. So far through, Latimer Upper and Shrewsbury School both rowing on the Berkshire Station. Headington School next up on the Bark Station. Will they take any confidence from that? Do they call that, surely? Yeah, that well, the, I think this, this is the toughest of the, the races this morning, this one, because they both uh, national schools. Headington were third, Thomas Guns were fifth. So this is the toughest race this morning at these first four we're seeing, I think, or the closest on paper. Yeah, slender margins between these two sides on paper. And that could make an impact later on today because they might push each other to the really floor. Really hard, yeah. Because this is it, you want to make it to the next phase of your competition. It's a knockout competition, so you want to be able to win this race and move on to the next round. So you're not going to leave any stone unturned to make sure you do that. Headington moving the boat really nicely, but so the Tideway Scullers are both moving along really smoothly. Serene progress so far. And that's about keeping a cool head. You know, you know this is going to be a gut buster. This potentially is going to go right the way to the wire. So standing your boat, being in control. Well, they're giving it some welly, aren't they, early here? and shifting the boat along very smoothly. It just looks like Headington is just inching out there, really moving well there. Yeah, Trudy Marks in the boat on the far side. You can see in the bow seat, Victoria Gothard, Alice Van Onselen, and in the stroke seat, Claudia Rossington. And Tolly Scullers would have come into this with a lot of confidence. They won the junior women's quad event at Henley Women's Regatta a few weeks back. Fifth at national schools. You know, the, the, they're a well-gelled crew, but obviously Headington won the major medal, I guess, when they won that bronze medal at national schools, which they obviously over, overhauled Tarwis Scullers who came fifth. Claudia Rossington, a stroke in the Headington school boat. That's the further of the two boats away from the camera right now. Claudia Rossington is only 15 years old. That's, that's an incredible young, talented athlete. He's 15 years old, racing the Henley, and just with that composure, being the stroke seat as well. Yeah, that's the responsibility thrust upon her. So they obviously rate her extremely highly. Not just hiding her away in the middle of a boat there, are they? Yeah, but sometimes as a young athlete, you don't have any fear. You know, that, that's a great thing. But if you can breed that straight away and use that excitement, enthusiasm, and literally no fear element in an athlete, that's a great trait to have going in because you, you're never worried about being put in the stroke seat. Youthful exuberance and all that, naivety. Mm. And you always uh, lose perspective a bit, don't you? You won't uh, have any sense that this is too important. There's always next year and the year after and yeah. so on. And I, you're only 15. You're probably more relaxed with that, yeah, with that approach. And just obviously knowing you've got the older, more experienced athletes sitting behind you that have represented Great Britain, the Coupe and various international events. You've got the blend of the kind of experience and the naivety of an athlete is, is, is a really good combination. Well, it's worked so far for Headington because the boat bronze medalist in the championship girls quads at the National Schools Regatta. And you say they've had a mix 2019 so far, poorer results in bigger boats, but stronger performances in the quad category. So this is really where Headington are making their mark at the moment. And in this race, that's also the case. And we talked about, you know, trying to put the race to bed as early as possible. You know, this is a really strong performance from Headington here. It is, but I wouldn't say they put the race to bed this time, would you? It just uh, looks like the Tideway Scullers have got a bid in the bank. They might be able to uh, mount a challenge at some point. But that they need to move now. They've come through the halfway mark there. And they need to stop Headington moving away, as they've done just gradually. They haven't leapt out. They've just gradually, every stroke, just moving that inch out. And before you know it, you've got a, a length of clear water. So it's really important Tully Scullers really dig in here. That said, these crews are the race each other, so they'll know quite a lot about each other. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, the performance is so far. It means it's still in the balance, but they're running out of water a little bit. Tideway Scullers. It's heading to the boat you can see in the picture now. Marks, Gothard, Van Onslen and Rossington. Putting a good performance and a really good shift from them. 
And it's really important, like, if you have got a younger athlete and they'd have seen the program, they'd have known who they're racing, you want to try and put a certain individual under pressure. And that's what Cyrus Scullers need to do now. They need to get Eddington asking questions that they've gone off too hard. Just, you mentioned the steering and who's responsible for that in each boat in the previous race. Is it the bow seat here that looks yes. after the steering? So uh, Trudy Marks, we can see, and uh, also Isabel Lack. They're uh, steering, it's been really impressive, hasn't it? For yeah. a young, young boat, that they've absolutely nailed it. And, and it's a thing, I remember being a junior, most juniors don't want to do it. They just want to focus on their rowing and racing. And to add that extra element to it, which is a really important one at Henley, because you do not want to get it wrong and collide into the booms or go, of course, you want to go straight as possible to, you know, to, to maximize your boat speed. And it's just, you know, it's really impressive that they're taking that on board. And also they're doing it from the bow seat, which is, I always thought was harder to do because you're blinded by the athletes in front of you. Yes, and so you can't put markers. You can't put markers, you can't see for anyone. You know, you're, you're, you're use your peripherals just kind of steer it really, which well. is more challenging. But you can see here, Scullers have really dug in that section. Yes, this has been a big move, and they've got it down and to half moving a leg. well. Yes, they are. Just on that steering, truly marked. So it's just ramrod straight, hasn't it? All Perfect. the way down. That's exactly what you want. Because the less you have to steer, the less you'll check the boat. So maximizing that boat speed. But scullers are moving really well here. So race on. And we're into the stage where they've got the support from the crowds in the enclosures. Those who have been here early enough to watch this race. And look at it, they're still wow. fighting back to a quarter of a length now. And this is really important for Headington now. Can they respond? Because if Tawe Scullers get a sniff here, this could get really dangerous for Headington as they come into the closing stages. Well, what we do know is it's going to be painful for both. Headington have responded, and they've managed to increase their lead back up to three quarters of a length, pushing on to a length now. Good response That's from a really mature move there. I really like that when I see that in racing, where you see a crew coming back at you, you absorb their push, and then you hit them with one straight away. So that was really impressive from Headington there. And it's cat and mouse because they're going again, aren't they? The Tideway Scullers having another nibble. They're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. This is going to be a terrific finish. Final 100 metres or so in this Jubilee heat. And Headington School have had it most of their way from the Berkshire Station and they might just have enough in the tank, but they're going to have to keep rowing because the Tideway Scullers have not yet given up in it's front of Stewart's now. They're still coming, Scullers. Scullers are still coming. Headington still looking strong, though. So Headington School, have they got enough strength to get to the line? A little glance over the shoulder from Trudy Marks, and they've done enough, but only by a length. It was a terrific race because the Tideway Scullers gave it a good crack in the last quarter mile there. I love that from Headington. That was a superb race there. Got out in front dictated the race and then let absorb the push from scholars and then moved away really mature racing